Girl Scout cookies are coming already. Oh, which I'm so excited for, by the way. And I wanted to mention, because I had, so and I think I've already mentioned this episode, I did live in Milwaukee, don't hold it against me, <laughs> for three years. And um, when I was there, Samoas were called something different. They were called Caramel Delights. Mm -hmm. And what else? The um, PB Patties, the chocolate-covered peanut butter cookies. We know them as tagalongs, but they were called right. PB patties. And then the dosi -Dos, Which doesn't sound as good. I think tagalong sounds fun. Which is my third. dosi -Dos are my third favorite. Yeah. After okay. Samoas and Thin Mints. Mm -hmm. They're called PB sandwiches. Why? Oh, yeah. That's dumb. Maybe you've already heard this, but, but if you've never been out of the state of Idaho, you might find this interesting. There's two different main bakers for Girl Scout cookies. There's oh, ABC, really? Yeah, there's ABC Bakers. They're the mm -hmm. oldest. And in fact, look at the map here. Green is Little Brownie Bakers, and that's mm -hmm. Idaho. Oh, so we have the newcomers. Orange or yellow, yeah, whatever color that is that's not green on this map, is ABC Bakers. I want to compare to see if the bakers taste different. And even, okay, and, and yeah, they have a comparison between, we'll, we'll put this up on the screen. So the ABC Bakers Thin Mints are... Crunchier with more mint than chocolate. Really? And the little brownie bakers, the thin mints we know and love, are richer, smoother chocolate coating, distinct peppermint taste. Hmm. Okay, and also, you'd think that they'd have a more, like, uniform recipe. You would think, right? You would think there'd be one recipe and both bakers honor the same it, recipe. Yeah. But no. In fact, there's a difference between Caramel Delights and Samoas. Really? Caramel Delights have more cookie than caramel. Oh, well, that's a shame. Milkier chocolate, cookie has vanilla flavor with Samoa's heavier caramel layer, darker chocolate coating, more toasted coconut, which I love. I, Me too. I think that Little Brownie Bakers is superior to ABC Bakers. That's what I would I mean, say. As somebody who's tried. So. Yeah, yeah. Somebody who's tried both. But you'd think that would be something to fix, right? One would think. Yeah. Especially because, like, everyone loves Girl Scout cookies, well, no matter now, where you are in the nation. Right. It's not like this This isn't Iowa in the 1950s. Right. You know, this is a global market now, and you should be able to get what you want where anywhere, you want it. anytime. Exactly. Well, and especially because now you're going to have people dealing with the FOMO of knowing that they can't have what someone else can have right. in the same nation as them. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, just because, in fact, if you, again, referring to the map... Nevada, so Idaho and Utah are both little brownie bakers, but Nevada, right under Idaho, mm -hmm. is an ABC Bakers territory. Okay. Along well, with hey, a maybe lot next of time we go to Vegas. Central <laughs> California, right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take a trip to Jackpot. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> do, you, do you think they have Girl Scouts in Jackpot? Oh, I hope in not. In front of a casino. <laughs> I really hope You ever not. been to Jackpot? No, I haven't. It sounds really depressing. It was depressing. So rather than stay at a casino or resort or whatever they've got there, I went to this really depressing dive bar and I won a ton of money. <laughs> oh, honestly, that's kind of nice. I thought if this Could is going to be gonna, worse. <laughs> yeah, if this is going to be depressing. Let's go all the way. Right. Let's not pretend. Let's not put on airs. Let's not yeah. believe that this is something it's not. You basically did the equivalent of when you're feeling sad, going to a mirror and watching yourself cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just wallowed in it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Wallowed in my own <laughs> filth. There's a cigarette smoker next to me going, You ain't anything yet. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I have to assume that your odds would be better in Jackpot, though, because there are fewer people playing. Yeah, but they tighten the slots. You know how they do. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, what's the famous quote? Vegas is for people who are bad at math. Right. You know, when you see signs that are yelling out, 99% payoff. Mm -hmm. It still means you're going to lose money. <laughs> right. If I put in a dollar. You're getting 99 the, cents. The best I'll do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is why I, when I do go to any place in Nevada, Wendover, if you live in Salt Lake, Jackpot, if you live in Idaho Falls, Twin Falls, Pocatello, mm -hmm. American Falls, um, or Vegas, the mm -hmm. big one, home of Super Bowl 58. Yeah. Um, I always, you know, I always, whatever I take out of the ATM, I go, this is my entertainment budget. Mm -hmm. This is how I'm going to kill some time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ne you wave never goodbye to more it more than you can lose. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. You wave goodbye to it the minute you see it come out of your bank balance. Right. You know that reminds me of when we went to um, Fort Hall last. 
So we don't yeah. go to the Fort Hall Casino. I've actually only been in there once, and it was for a uh, George Lopez show. Okay. Yeah, I've never actually gambled there. So they we do, should the do Shoshone that sometime. The Shoshone Bannock Hotel and Event Center has some pretty- Yeah, it's pretty good. Decent events. Right. Yeah. But we went to that weird little gas station that has a little casino in it it's, instead. Yeah, it's just, it's the southernmost Blackfoot exit. Right. But Travel stop. Um, I remember that I was, I had like a hundred bucks to gamble with and uh, <laughs> I had gambled it down quite a bit and then I switched over to a, a black. Uh, blackjack machine or something like, something like that and I won it all back and then like Icarus I flew too close to the sun <laughs> and I was like oh well if I'm winning it all back clearly I can win more and then I lost it all yeah I was so bummed <laughs> it's so funny what that max bet button can do <laughs> right well and I really did try to play conservative but I was like okay I can't hit that button yeah. every time or else they're gonna know that I'm a chump so I gotta do I gotta like switch it around a little <laughs> Yeah, it was dumb. <laughs> and I love the gimmicky machines. I used to love Wheel of Fortune. Right. Because, you know, you just sit there mindlessly hitting <laughs> max bet, max bet, max bet. Uh-huh. And then every once in a while, you'd get to spin the wheel. Uh-huh. And that was just a thrill. Yeah. It was a little mini adrenaline rush every time. It's almost like they're trying to create dopamine in your brain so that you'll spend more money. Right. It's yeah. worse than social media. <laughs> <laughs> 